Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is a little vlog for you guys. Um, just various things, um, but as you can see by the title, it is trying on Gymshark for the first time. Um, just impressions, how I like it, is it better than what I usually wear, which is usually Victoria's Secret or like Nike. Um, I don't really wear Under Armour. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, and Happy New Year, you guys. Um, it was a great year. 2019 was awesome. It's New Year's Eve right now, but I know you guys will see this in the new year. So I hope you guys had a great 2019 and I'm really excited for 2020. I think it's going to be a great year. Um, 2019 was an amazing year and I'm going to be talking about that later a little bit. Um, just writing some goals out, like some of my goals and whatnot. So yeah. Like I said, you will see the try on haul later in the video, but right now I just kind of like want to share some stuff that I've been buying or I have bought. So I did participate in the Bath and Body Work um, candle sale that was like $8 or $9. Um, I did it online because I was like not going to the store for that. It was crazy last year and I've never gotten to participate in it. So I did it this year. I think like max candles you can get is 15 or something like that. One thing I will say about Bath & Body Works, you know, you shop anywhere else, Victoria's Secret, wherever, if you spend so much, you get free shipping. But no, not not Bath & Body Works. I've never spent this much this year. Like, I've spent so much this year on Bath & Body Works than I have my whole entire life. I participated in the buy three, get three. Ridiculous how, <laughs> how much I spent. I've just never spent, like, more than $50 in Bath & Body Works, but this year... I definitely have but like you only get one code that you can put online and you don't get free shipping so not really a big fan of that but yes I did get like 10 candles or so um I did get like multiples of one which you'll see but I just want to share it with you guys I did post this um little short uh candle haul on Instagram if you guys want to see I'm starting to do IGTVs on Instagram so if you guys are interested in that check over at my Instagram, Madison Ansel. It's just, it's that everywhere. Um, yeah, so if you wanna see just that, then you can go over there and I'll be posting some other stuff over there. But yeah, I just wanna share the candles I got with you guys and I hope you guys all had a great Christmas. It just went so quick. Like, geez, this year just flew by, but I'm excited. It was a great year. I'm gonna get into that later, but okay so first little candle i bought this for the three for three when they had it like on black friday this is twisted peppermint smells really good um which i learned some new language on the website um throw which maybe i'm dumb but throw is like the smell um that the candle gives off like it might smell like twisted peppermint but it just doesn't make the room smell like twisted peppermint didn't know that but um I heard mixed things about that one and yes I'm not doing much for New Year's Eve we're just chilling and having a good time at my house eating some food and just playing games I used to party when I was younger but it's just like not my thing anymore it's just I don't know I just don't really see it's fun like it'd be cool I guess like I don't know not really though because every time I say like I rather I want to go out and do stuff like I always prefer to be home with my family so it just kind of was like that and I just started listening to myself because I'm like why am I going out like this is not fun so uh last year I stayed in the year before that I stayed in and I've just I prefer it that way but yeah nothing real exciting over here um but yeah, so let's get on to the candles. This one is leaves. Now, I saw a video years back of someone doing a haul for the candles, the candle sale. Ew, this looks really weird on the inside. Ugh. But it smells super good. They were raving about it. I actually never got it. I think I might have smelled it in stores, but it just smells very folly. And most of these candles smell like food because I like the room to smell like food. I don't know. Um, but leaves smells very folly and like cinnamony. So like most of these are Christmas and fall candles. Um, that's just what I like. I don't know. But this one is different. This is the Love. It's the Aromatherapy. It's rose and vanilla. And it's, I wanted to switch it up because I have a lot of like food scents. So this one's a very light airy smell. 
and like I like their smell of rose I don't know it just sound it smells like um it sounds it smells very clean so I do like that I like to take like rose bat like rose bath bombs and stuff you know this one I love the outside of this New York cherry cheesecake Cherry cheesecake, it smells so good, but it is like, I don't know, it's coming apart in there. I was just praying that they weren't going to be broken because I've never bought candles online, but this smells so good. If you love cherry, you'll like it. So this one's also super cute. It has the buildings and they're all shaped like candy. Um, and like, it's like snow. It's so cute. But this one is Land of Sweets Blueberry Sugar. Oh, smells so good. It smells so good. I love that smell. And if you guys are wondering why I'm looking over here, I can see myself, so sorry. But uh, this is Gather. Reminds me of Thanksgiving. Um, it smells kind of like a cinnamon, 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 is that a word? Cinnamon, like buttery smell, but it smells really good. Honestly, I wasn't sure about some of these because like I didn't get to smell them. So I was just going off reviews and like what sounded good. So if these, don't really you know make a whole lot of sense I, i'm trying um this is sugared sugared this is sugared snickerdoodle and that's cute too with the polar bears they're so cute it smells like like a sugar cookie it smells good like i said i love stuff that smells like food um this one's also really pretty packaging it's hot buttered rum it smells very caramely, you know, all the good stuff. And then this one I got a couple because my mom wanted one and her friend wanted one. So this is the Aromatherapy Relax. It's like the sleep line. Uh, I really like this. Um, it's made with lavender and cedar wood. <sighs> it just smells so relaxing. Like if you have the lotion, put it on before bed. They have pillow mist and everything. Like, oh, smells so good. But that's all my candles. Um, I do have some miscellaneous stuff that I got at the mall yesterday, so I'm just gonna show that too. So I had to get shoes for my brother's birthday. You know, I didn't wanna scream it because he's in the other room. But um, I got these sandals, which I have the all black pair. They're kind of popular last year. Um, I'm sure you saw a lot of people wearing them, but I got a pair and I really liked them. Other than they do kind of make your feet stink if you're sweating in them. I wore the crap out of them, really like them. At first I was like, ooh, those are ugly, but then I was like, oh, those are really cute. So, even though I won't be able to wear them for quite a few months, I did get a pair, because they're kind of expensive. They're like $45, so I got them half off, but it's a gold pair. Mm -hmm. Looks just very summery and just be able to wear it with maybe nicer outfits like this sweater or something. Not a good mix. Obviously, it's gonna be a summer not gonna be wearing sweaters, but just super cute They're really comfy and I was gonna get gray, but I ended up getting these Ooh, there is a black hair. Oh god No one I know has black hair like that. So also to get into the new year vibes. I got a planner last year. I got an elephant planner I can't remember but Leora Alexandra had a code to get an elephant planner. It was really cute. You could write all your affirmations and your goals and everything in the front and there's reminders to look back at them. I really liked it. I thought about getting it again, but honestly, a lot of the goals that I had last year are kind of similar to this year. I'm gonna talk about my goals later, but I got this. I really liked the flowers. It is a religious one. Um, I'm not super religious. I don't go to church, but I did like just the stuff that's said in it. Um, it says, I know the Lord is always with me. And you can take that whatever way you want, you know? If you want to say the universe or God or whatever. Like, I don't know. I think it's all the same to me. Hopefully that doesn't sound bad. But, um, I just liked how this one was set up. It has, like, January goals, January to-dos, um, reminders, birthdays. And then it has like a quote from the Bible in them. Like I said, I'm, I don't really read the Bible like a whole lot. I used to obviously in the past, but um, you know, just because I'm into spirituality and stuff doesn't mean like, you know, I grew up with, you know, learning 
the Bible and stuff like that. Not a whole lot. Like, my family wasn't, like, a big Catholic or, Catholic or Christian family or anything. But, like, you know, that's just, that's what resonates with me. So, I really like the colors in this. I actually found one today at Walmart I really liked. But it didn't have the setup. See, it has just, like, little quotes. It didn't have the setup, which I really like. And it has stickers in the beginning, which honestly, I'm probably not going to use the stickers. Some of them are really, like, religious. Like, I don't know if I'll use them. Like, um, <laughs> like there's Amen and um, Sing His Praise. I'm not, I'm probably not going to use the stickers in general. But, like, these say Pray, um, which I like. But, like, so there was another journal just like this one, and it said the master plan, and it was gray. And it had like these were goals instead of pray, which I liked better. But I don't know. I just didn't like how it said the master plan. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't want people knowing. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's, I'm weird. But um, the quotes in that one were just like too vague for me. Like, these are kind of deeper and more meaningful. Like, let all that you do be done in love. Like, I just like that. Like, the other one was just like smile be happy you know what I'm saying so I don't know I'm trying it out I like it I forget to even use a planner half the time that's why I was like do I really want to spend 20 some dollars on a planner that I'm probably gonna forget about it's true I do have a um board that I write on up there that I got markers for so I got some expo wipes since I said the thing about my calendar it's dry erase, but I've been using just like regular wipes and I think I ruined it. So I'm going to see if it'll still work or I have to get another one. Um, and like the cheap markers I had aren't writing anymore because I think I ruined it. But um, I got just actual name brand Expo markers and they're all colorful because I didn't have a pink or brown. I don't know. It's I like to do like, you know themes of the month and stuff so hopefully this works and I like the skinny ones because it's easier to write um <laughs> I just got tissues I don't know I just I feel like I don't buy these things and like then when I want one like my nose running you don't have them you know so one of my resolutions is to cut out sweets but I got some kisses Hershey kisses with caramel inside I was just like oh god but I promise like after after these are gone, I'm gonna quit. <laughs> no, I don't know, but you know, you know, not everyone's just gonna change in a day, okay? Like, give me time. So then I got my mom this powder. It is the Airspun, which I've been using. I really like it. It used to be popular like years back, I feel like, on YouTube, but she needed powder, so I got her honey bait. And last but not least, <laughs> I don't care what people say about these nightgowns. I don't care if it makes me look old, like a granny or in a hospital bed. Because, like, my one that's blue kind of reminds me of a hospital bed. But I love nightgowns. I love wearing big t-shirts to bed. It's my favorite thing. Um, so I saw this, and I'm hoping it fits because I usually get, like, large or extra large. Like, I get something really big. But this one's a medium, a small medium. So, like, it was, like, six bucks. But it was just so cute. It's so cute. Like, I'm obsessed. It says, barely awake. Like, barely. So cute. I'm obsessed with this. I think it's so adorable. And I'm so ready to, like, just try it on and to sleep in it. I'm just so excited. <laughs> it's, the, it's the little things. But I don't care what people say. These are so comfortable. And, yeah. So, I hope you guys are having a good... Um, 2020 and I'm going to talk about my goals later but for now you guys will probably see me trying on Gymshark <laughs> I'm in a robe right now because it's freezing in my house and we all love a good robe and this one's super cozy I love it it's I actually I think I got it for free when I bought so much stuff but I have so many different like robes for different things so so I only have four items from Gymshark I swear I had more in my cart which is probably true and I probably just got rid of it. But um, I wanted to try it. It was on sale, it was Black Friday, um, everything. There was stuff from like 50% off to 20 and it was crazy. Like, I'm not, I've never really been into Gymshark um, just because I like what I use now, which is Victoria's Secret. 
I really think Victoria's Secret has great products for working out in. I love their clothes. I love their quality. Um, I love Nike and Under Armour and all that stuff too. I will never, unless I have to or I really need something, go to like an outlet store like a Nike or um, even a Dick Sporting Goods and pay full price for workout clothes. I kind of used to when I was in track and I needed something specific, but TJ Maxx and those type of places, they have exactly the same like what you would buy in a store. Actually, the shorts I'm wearing now are Nike. So much cheaper and there's always stuff there. So like you're always getting good deals and just, I'm not going to go on about it because I'm sure you guys know like, yes, TJ Maxx. Um, but yeah, that's where I never pay... I just never pay full price and unless I will pay for Victoria's Secret but I have a lot of coupons and stuff but Victoria's Secret's workout clothes are the shit like I actually rather have those over than a lot of my Nike ones they fit well they don't fall down that's like my favorite thing to work out in I'm sorry I'm moving my hands a lot I, I, I move my hands when I talk I'm not trying to put labels on it but most people that are like real gym meatheads pumping iron all the time we're gymshark okay like obviously i'm kind of putting it in a category but you know that gymshark is like a brand that people wear when they're really fit and just in it to win it like that's it's a very popular brand i never really wanted it because i just i never was really intrigued by any of the i don't know I, i'm not the type to get things because everybody else likes it and like if it's a popular brand I don't care um, and I never really saw anything that like oh I need that I'm actually not a huge fan of the Gymshark logo I don't know it's just never like oh I need that that's cute like not that it is anyways because it's a logo but you know what I mean like it reminds me of like a tennis racket that I had in high school so it just like never was something that I felt like I needed, but it was on sale and plus this stuff is expensive, okay? If you go on their website, it's expensive. So yeah, I was just like, well, it's on sale, so I'll try to get some and try it out. Um, not a gym junkie, I'm not uh, pumping irons, let's get swole, like maybe back in the day in high school, but like not for me now. But let me tell you, this sale was crazy. There was some stuff really cute like half off more than half off the stuff was flying out of my cart like it was just getting sold out sold out sold out so people want this shit and they want it bad but seriously like i couldn't even keep there's so many things i had in my cart that i was like i should have just checked out because that was cute so these four items were probably the best thing i was gonna get um unless i wanted to pay full price for something that i didn't know i was gonna like so it's just a little a little try on haul i'm sorry that was a lot of rambling but i just want to tell the backstory because like i'm not a huge brand junkie i really like victoria's secret i love my nike stuff i love nike but most of the stuff is like tj maxx marshalls you can find great things there guys like never pay full price so i got this bra i'm actually really excited about even though i didn't really need any more sports bras it was just really cute. I like the gray. It looked pretty like supportive. It has little padding in it. And I'll try all these on after I open them just so I can see. There was a matching bra to this one, I think, but I was just like, I don't need a bunch of sports bras. So these are the fit leggings, Winterberry Pink. Ooh, ooh, they have a uh, you can see that they have like this um gooey elastic to keep them up i can see why people like this stuff now hopefully oh i really like this color and they go all the way down they're just plain but i can i can see myself wearing these that's exciting it's good quality stuff so i can see why it's expensive I'm sorry if I sound like really naive to this brand, but I don't, I've never wore it. Okay, so I like these as well. Um, they're very light and they feel very thin, but like good quality. I love 
the little band it really like sticks where it's supposed to and doesn't I don't see it falling down so I would really like to wear these doing a more high intensity workout um, like I said I'm on my period so I'm super bloated so please ignore that um, but I do really like these I did get the matching pants to the bra so that's actually kind of exciting the pattern to these and the bra is like the same um, really lightweight. These are cropped um, at the bottom. There's just little seams on the side and I'm excited to try those on together. Okay, so I really do like these a lot. Um, this outfit is just really cute. Um, I love how high-waisted it is. I actually really like how this is more of a crop than a um, sports bra because it comes down a little bit more. I love the back and then these ones I was kind of like I don't know they were really cheap if I can remember they're like a cottony type of feel they're yoga pants I wouldn't like have a hard workout with these but I would do like something light just because I don't know if these would stay up because they like kind of I don't know they intertwine in the front but they're pretty heavy material, surprisingly. Um, oh, they're soaky on the inside. But there's just like, I don't know how to explain these. They're just cropped. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a pocket on the side. These are called the Poise Crop Leggings. Hopefully I said that right. Malibu Blue. So, I think I got a large in these. Oh no, I got a medium, so. Girl better get in the gym. I got a medium in the bra, which the bra is energy and seamless crop top. Oh, I guess it's a crop top. Your girl would not be wearing it as a crop top. Um, and these are the energy seamless cropped leggings, smoky gray. And the berry ones, I think I already said those, so. Not a whole lot, but I'm going to try them on for you guys. Um, like I said, you don't need to be any type of person to wear any type of brand. So, if you want it, get it, girl. Okay, so I actually, surprisingly, really like these ones. Um, the blue, I did not think I was going to like just because the material is kind of weird. I got a smaller size. Um, it's not a weird material. It's just like a... It's like a ribbed cottony material, which I actually really like um, for like just yoga, kind of like lounge. They're more lounging than athletic. Um, I really like the pocket in them. I love leggings with pockets. Like it comes in handy when you have your phone and you're working out and you just like need to change the song. But the, I showed where the ankle kind of like slits up. I really like how these blue ones make my figure look more tight and I don't know it really enhances like my curves in a good way not in a bad one you know what I'm saying so um, I'm really actually happy about these and they are mediums they're a size down from what I usually would get but there's some Victoria's Secret that I get medium with too I'm really excited about these like it's ribbed on the outside but it's silky on the inside and super comfy these were the cheapest pair I got I think I can't remember how much I got them for but like they were like 50% off or something so I was kind of like eh. I don't know how great these are gonna be but I really like them I like how it just like cinches in at my waist and just covers all the areas you want covered and enhances the ones that are the good ones you know what I'm saying so overall thought on this brand is thumbs up I can see why everyone wants it and you know it's kind of like a hype thing because the material is really nice um, I think it's just as nice as Victoria's Secret or any other workout brand but I definitely will keep an eye out for some of their sales and stuff because like I said I'm not gonna pay $50 for this bra um, maybe one day when I feel it's needed but I have a lot of workout clothes right now. This was kind of just something like, oh, they're on sale. I want to try it out. So I'm actually really happy with everything. Everything's really good quality. 
maybe I can fit in with the gym shark people. Um, not really, but you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying though. Like people that wear gym shark are very like, yeah, let's do this. This is my bicep and it's huge. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I've just never really seen anyone that's like wears gym shark and like is like me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm sure a bunch of people do, a bunch of people wear it, but I don't know. Anyone I see on Instagram that has Gymshark is just like ripped. So maybe it's motivation. But I really like these, even if I never will be ripped. I like this bra and I would wear it all the time. It's super comfy. Um, and obviously anyone can wear this stuff. Anyone can wear Nike, like every, it does not matter. I wear workout stuff all the time and literally it's like my wardrobe this is something I'd wear on the daily basis just because it's my favorite thing to wear like being comfy and and I'm nowhere near where I want to be so or anyone else that's like on Instagram looking super fit but yeah that's just my little rant about it um you can wear whatever but you know what I'm saying I feel like Jim Shark is like it's it's Jim Jim is in the logo Gym is in the brand, so it's like, oh, probably should go to the gym. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. I wear work. I wear workout stuff all the time, and you know, I wasn't going to the gym like most of this year. So I was doing yoga, but you know what I mean. So yeah, I would like everything. I hope you guys like this little preview. I might, like I said, go to the gym and maybe update you later. But I really don't think it's necessary. This stuff is gonna be good stuff. Um, but yeah.